Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie and welcome to your new love reading for the month of September 2021. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So thank you so much my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Capricorns regarding new love this month. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure, oh, make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week, for the month ahead. I almost said week. For the month ahead. All right. Oh, that was a wheel of fortune, by the way. Thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel i love hearing from you guys so please leave a comment down below on how this reading resonated for you my gosh all right your overall energy for this month is the queen of cups nice all right <laughs> you have the moon the Queen of Pentacles, very much in your energy. Mm -hmm. You have the Justice. You have the Chariot. You have the Eight of Cups. And then the Ace of Cups. All right. I love it. Okay, your challenge for this month, Capricorn, is the Six of Swords. Is it focusing? The Six of Swords, all right? So this is the Rite of Passage. This is you moving on, moving on to calmer shores. This is you moving on, period, okay? The challenge there is moving on, um, accepting what has to be accepted, um, understanding that you have outgrown situations and you have to move on from things that you have outgrown or no longer fit your life. We don't try to fit something that no longer fits us, okay? Um, we have to embrace necessary changes for us to move on to something, to something better, all right? Your overall energy for this month is the Queen of Cups. I do feel that you are pouring a lot of love onto yourself. The love that you could have given to someone in the past, you are now just loving yourself a lot more. You're understanding that you are worth everything that you deserve and so much more. And you are, you know, worth all of that in a bag of chips. All right. This is self-love. And I know very much that even when you love yourself, you are ready to offer that kind of love, or the same kind of love that you give yourself to someone who is worthy of it. And now you are assessing who is worthy of that love, all right? I do feel that this is this is something that I'm feeling that is kind of from the past. Um, there are things coming towards you this week that things are going to be illuminated this week. A lot of secrets that have been hidden from you, a lot of fears that have been hiding in the dark, in the very corners of your mind, it's going to come out. And I do think that you are going to move on once you face your fears, once you get to know all the things that were hidden from you, things are going to be illuminated. And yes, you are going to start, you are starting to move on fully from something that no longer serves you, from, some, from the things that are hidden from you. I do feel that you were just waiting for this thing to come out before you fully move on from something. And this is your month. This is the month to move on. This is the month to move on to better. This is the month to move on to, you know, something better. Something that is right for you. All right. You are very much in your energy right now. The Queen of Pentacles. Very much in your energy, you are ready to offer that love to someone else. But you are not find, trying to find it. You are not trying to chase it. You are just waiting for this love to come to you. Yes love will come to you if you could see this person looks like something is coming to the uh, coming towards the queen of pentacles but actually the eight of 
the eight of cups here it just means that the eight of cups here it just means that you are walking away from something that no longer serves you all right fully moving on from someone that no longer serves you that no longer um fits your life that's what i'm hearing they no longer fit your life so why why would you try right why would you try to let them fit your life when spirit is actually telling you and showing you that this person no longer fits your life you deserve so much better all right and you you are there just sitting there understanding that yes i don't need to find love anymore love will find me which is very beautiful capricorn very very beautiful i love it i do feel that there is you know there is new love coming towards you i'm telling you now there is new love coming towards you something that is worth worth your time worth your energy worth your emotions worth your love all right um i'm hearing this is fated the justice card here it just means that it is fated this is fated energy this is something that is really meant for you it will never pass you by so don't don't think that there are missed opportunities don't think that maybe you missed it out on someone if it's meant for you it will never pass you by all right capricorn i love you guys you know my sister is a capricorn so <laughs> I love Capricorns, and I have a lot of Capricorn placements for some reason. All right, what is the overall outcome of this situation or this spread? You have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Five of Cups, and you have the Eight of Swords. All right, there is solid commitment coming towards you. Someone who, someone who sees something very solid with you, all right, with the Three of Pentacles here. Someone who sees very much that they want to be with you. Okay. But before that, you have to get over that disappointment. Whoever it is that broke your heart in the past, you have to get over it. And you have to stop being so anxious about people who want to come in. Not everyone has bad intentions. It's just up to you and your intuition and your prayers and your prayers all right it will be solely up to those three uh those few things to understand whether or not the person the people that are coming into your life are worth your time and energy okay but love is coming in you just have to assess it you have to get over your disappointments you have to learn from all of those things. I hope I made sense. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this reading. All right. The advice of spirit is the eight of wands, the ten of swords, and then the empress. The empress here, it just means that you, you have to raise your self-worth. All right. You have to see your self-worth. Uh, you are worthy of so much more than what you are restraining yourself from, where, where you are, you know, I'm hearing you are up in your head. You have to get out of it. You are worth so much more. You are worth, understand your self-worth, all right? You're beautiful. You are magnetic. You are abundant. You are everything anyone could ever ask for, all right? Um, the Ten of Swords here, it just means please Stop reeling over your ex. You have to get over it. Let go of it. It no longer serves you. Alright? Let go of it. And then the Eight of Wands. Be open to communication. Be open to someone who's gonna come towards you. Very passionate. This Ace of Cups here, who is your fated energy. This is gonna come towards you. Alright? Just be open to it. All right, let's cap off your reading. That's a good reading. Okay, let's get those two. Okay, you have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. As I said, it's fated. All right, it's fated. All right, so 
Yes, this is your soulmate. You have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right. And then, what part of love or what aspect of love do you have to focus on as of this moment or this month? You have evolution. All right. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. All right. Yes. Endings. Endings and situations and moving on. It's all about evolution. Evolving into someone better. All right, Yang. Yang is number one. It's the magician card. All right, let's see, Yang. Yang. Let's see, Yang. Very masculine. Very masculine. All right. Relationship message, Yang. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where, where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward your highest good. So go forth with, with assurance. Passion is in the air and now it is time to dance in the tune of, to the tune of love. Take the lead. All right. So... I hope this reading manifested Capricorn. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you subscribe to my channel, everything, all the readings on this channel are free. I love you so much and have a good month. Stay blessed.